very good morning to you on this beautiful Wednesday morning. Well, it is a bit overcast and it's raining outside. However, it's the perfect day to be inside and to do beading. Right, today <laughs> I couldn't resist. <laughs> I did put my Christmas jumper on um, this morning. I really wanted to put it on last week when we were doing the Christmas reefs. Um, but this morning I was like, well, we're doing a Christmas project. So <laughs> I put my Christmas jumper on. Um, to get sort of into, um, in, well, it's not in the mood because like I'm, I, I love making Christmas decorations. Right, good morning, everybody. Before I start, I just want to let you know if anything happens and cut out, I will come back in. It's either going to come back in the same window or I have to come back in in a separate window. So you have to go out and come back in. I'm not sure what's happening with the connection. It might be my internet. Right, okay, so I got loads to show you today. I got quite a few samples here and I have got, um, I want to talk you through a couple of things. I just love the way how these baubles look. I don't even know which one to show you. I'm going to show you the turquoise one. I just love how they, they look. They have such a modern look on them. Um, that's the turquoise one. There is the silver one here. And you can add these onto any baubles you have because they do have got like sort of a stretchy nature. They will stretch over slightly larger or smaller baubles as well. Because what I find these days, we can buy baubles pretty much anywhere, any of at all the shops. <laughs> all the shops sells the baubles now. Slightly they vary in millimeter in sizes. So some of them are 55 millimeters, some of them are 60 millimeters, some of them are 58 millimeters, some of them are. I don't know, 62 millimeter. So sometimes it can be hard to find or a pattern which is kind of sort of allows for that stretch. So um, the open ended patterns, which is where, where you don't um, sew them together at the bottom. So the, the pattern itself is not sewn onto the, bot the bottom of the bauble and it's not encased completely are somewhat easier because they sort of fit over the baubles however i really love doing baubles when we like completely sew it on there and it stays on the bauble itself um so doing something like this which is like a netted structure it's got like a give and take in them it's a really great um great one to do i love all the colors and depending on what bubble you put inside what color bubble you put inside it's going to look slightly different i think it's such a modern look and like this one i could have uh, added a pink bubble inside such a such a modern look to to have on your on your baubles at Christmas. Very, very nice. Right, okay, so I'm quickly gonna pop you over to the website and I'll show you where to find them and what the kit entails. But before I just do that, I just very quickly wanna say hello. Good morning, Rachel. Um, she said, good morning from Barrow. We were stuck at home field. Oh, I'm so sorry, Rachel. I hope you get get well soon and I'm wishing you a speedy recovery. L sending you virtual hugs. <laughs> good morning, Jen. Uh, Jolanda, good morning from Michigan. Lisa, good morning. Jen, good morning. There's no option for needle and thread on these. Okay, so I'll get... Um, I'll get... I'll get... Uh, I'll get Simon to add, add it on to there as well. Um, to be honest, like with thirds of needle uh, and, and thread, so size 10 or size 11 needle will do. And we, in terms of thread, as long as it's slightly the same color as the as the beads you are using, they will kind of like disappear because they're very closely woven together. So you can't really see the thread at all. Um, good morning, Jude. Jay Golden, Golden Man. <laughs> Sorry, I'm butchering the name this morning. Carol, good morning. Catherine, good morning. Camille, good morning. It's a bit dull and yucky. Hello, everybody. Yes, but when it's a bit dull and yucky outside, we don't need to go outside. We can stay inside and play with our pretty beads. We can just, just sit and create and create. Um, Mina, good morning. She said, I love making the bauble covers. Um, and good morning, Barbara. Good morning. We have to catch replay. See you soon. Um, Simon's popped the link in for us. Um, Yolanda says, five or six here in Michigan. Quite early, but up and ready to leave for work. Oh, bless you. Five o'clock is early. I would struggle to get up. Like, But if you're up and ready now, five o'clock, then you must have got on like half past four or maybe four o'clock that would be like way too early for me I, I i don't know i like i respect people so much because i don't know how they do it um i used to get up at six o'clock 
um like but it was a struggle i was like waiting for half term <laughs> for the children to be off school so we can stay in bed a little bit longer um elaine good morning debbie good morning joy good morning vet in peterborough as well judith good morning good morning kitty and everyone sue is saying this is the first love i have got for i looking for the christmas snake yeah absolutely well we have to start it now like you know <laughs> we only got i don't i don't want to um, ask Miss A in the corner there <laughs> uh, how many days for Christmas but I'll which again Alexa how many days until Christmas Christmas is in 47 days on Monday the 25th of December 2023 47 days. Santa has a little message for you Oh. Oh. <laughs> that is so good she did this last week as well I've been doing a bit of meditation <laughs> And I'm feeling all zen at the moment. Ho, ho, mm. <laughs> That is really good. Ho, 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 ho. Come back tomorrow for another <laughs> Christmas update. <laughs> That was really good. <laughs> 45 days of the Christmas. Ask Santa to meditate. Thank you, Alexa. Turn off. I hope she will. <laughs> she listens. Good morning. Natalie's here. Right. Okay. Donna, 4 a.m. in Texas. Wow. That's really early. Um, Lucy said just woke up. Um, right. Okay. Good morning, um, St Stephen. Like, okay. So let's get started um, because I would like to... What should I do? I'm going to pop you over to the website first um to to show you on there and then i can show it to you on then on my mat i got quite a few of the colorways made up here and then we can get started so this is like thinking about it opening it now <laughs> bless right minimize that window then you don't want it, your computer will go like wild and all these windows will pop up. <laughs> right, okay, so I'm going over to the website. So by now you know the drill, what you need to do. You go totallybeads.co.uk and you are going, let me go back to the main page. Um, you're gonna go and do learn jewelry make, just kind of just like hover over it and then jewelry making will come underneath it. You go into that one many different <laughs> pages there do check them out there are tutorials loads of them hundreds and hundreds of them i'm gonna go into video tutorials and then i'm gonna scroll down this is what love laura did on monday um i did this on last one last friday the sunny japs and today is the netted christmas bubble so i'm gonna go into this one and i'm gonna scroll down so that last year's video is there already and and today's video will be updated there as well so um we got many different colorways so it's very simple there is only two ingredients to it so you have the three millimeter bugle beads and you have got the size 11 seed beads and it's, it's such a I love this pattern because it's pattern repeat as you go along and you just sort of keep on going and going and going and it um, doesn't matter where you put it down, it's really easy to pick up. So we got gold, silver, aquatil, um, we got gold, diamond, we got grape, we got hematite, we got iris brown, we got nebula, we got purple, we have got tanzanite and you can buy the little clear plastic baubles separately. Um, they are 30 millimeter and i'll show you them just in a second i haven't got an empty one here because <laughs> i'm not just like i don't even know where my christmas stuff yet they're still in storage so i have to put my hand up i really had to hunt the whole house to find something that i can demo with you today but it's all good so soon soon it will be coming right okay so i'm gonna come back and um just let's pop into one of the kits actually to show you what's in there so it's 14.99 each kit and then you get two for 25 so if you want to make two dif two different colors you can or you can you can get the same color as well however if you get two different colors what you can do and i'm going to show you that's this this little one is was made i'm going to have to show you when i come down on the camera so you can see but make from two different kits so they then stands out even more i'll show you that just in a second 
So you get 30 gram of size 11 Toho seed beads, 30 gram of 3 meter bugle beads, and 2 times 30 meter fillable bauble decoration. However, the kit will make like much more. So they are designed to go on the larger baubles themselves. I always say like if you do a couple of small ones, it kind of gives you the... Um, you know the confidence to go go and do the bigger one and you kind of like learn the pattern and then it's like a no-brainer you don't have to think about it. you can just sit there and go sort of through with it so the kit will make three large baubles and the two small ones in there as well it's right okay but you get the two small ones and i'll show you how they work i'm gonna come back to my screen and then we're gonna go down on to the mat like how much do i want to zoom in yeah proper that's perfect so um i got all sorts of different colors here um so the two color one i'm going to show you first is using the gold come on camera i want you to focus on this the, <laughs> the using the gold bugles and the brown iris seed beads so it's from these two oh and they're rolling away from these two baubles themselves that's that's sort of a combination of it so you can see how much this one these two is kind of sort of blends in and with if you combine the two colors together it's going to stand out and with offer two for 25 why not you can do that as well i got one here which is the grape and the teal I put my hand on it come on camera let's keep focusing and there we go the grape and the tail so the plastic bubbles themselves if i turn it down let me just move some of these out of the way so the camera is not focusing on it so if i turn it down you can see it's made of two half of sort of a plastic uh, bauble you can put stuff inside it this one has got some seed beads inside it this one i just added some glitter inside it come on camera don't let me down glitter inside it i have got this one has got sequins inside it so you can put um kind of sort of memorable stuff inside it. that one has got sequins as well i got a couple of other ones these are smaller baubles but i have um just had in my stash which i beaded up around them so the pattern will work around pretty much anything circle and i had to hunt today to find a small bubble so i can demo for you with, with, with those ones um but never mind the house is still i only moved recently i have to say and the house is still kind of sort of in upheaval and we got boxes and i think i'm gonna have boxes forever <laughs> but um we are getting there so the, the same color so what we're going to do today i'm going to show you how to start off um on a bigger bubble just the numbers are bigger on a smaller bubble you're working in a smaller scale so you can get it done quicker i'm going to demo with the grape and because um, i just really love the grape color and then it's it's you know we, we can i can talk you through how to do them but very easy pattern so i'm just going to grab some needle and thread and get started do let me know in the comments if you have done this bubble or any other bubble before what's your favorite bubble let me know that one as well what's your favorite make we have started the 12 <laughs> the christmas all year round this year in january and, and did quite a few baubles on zoom and unfortunately in the summer i had to put a pose on that project for uh, personal reasons but um we're gonna be getting back to that and going into the next year as well right let me zoom in even more so we can get oh we can get even closer i think that's the closest i can get i need to zoom on the camera there we go so i'm gonna get my bugles and seed beads out now bugles are this little three millimeter beads they are they're very interesting how they make them they stretch them in a in a very long room and they sort of cut them down into the size if i just pick one up one of each the size 11 seed beads is are you gonna focus on me there we go so the size 11 seed bead is more of a round shape the bugle it has got somewhat um straight edges to them and what um can happen sometimes it's really important to use good quality seed good quality bugle beads and not just seed beads because um the, they can cut the thread so these are toho and they are quite high quality bugle beads you sh you not gonna have any problem with it but however the way how our pattern goes because we have got a seed bead next to each one of those bugles that kind of protect our thread path 
Um, Joyce saying, have started one of your bobos that has long drops and really enjoyed it. Yeah, I know which one exactly you mean, the crystal one. That's, I love making that one. The Super Duo one was really good as well. Um, Jen saying, I haven't done these before. Love the bobos. Yes, I did one last year. Joyce saying, beautiful. These are beautiful. What does the kit make? Three large or three small? It makes three large and then you get the uh, two small ones in there. They kind of sort of, I see where your practice run. <laughs> your, your two small one is your practice one and then you can make three big ones. Right, okay, so let's get started. So how are we gonna start with this one? Um, the, so this is the size I'm gonna be making today to show you, but the larger ones, you kind of just sort of pick up more rows as you go along. And the way how we do it, we start at the top and we sort of go up and down, up, down and up, down and up, up and down. And I was showing, I was saying up and I was going down. So it's kind of like confused myself there a little bit. Um, so we're going to be picking up the bugles and the seed beads um, as we go along. Each each time we will be picking up what we're missing on the previous row. So row by row we're going to be going around. And there is no set amount of rows you need to do. You just keep on going and keep on trying onto your bauble. Right, so the secret <laughs> that you can, uh, not secret really, <laughs> but the whole sort of idea behind it that you are able to go backwards and forwards in any number of um, so any size of ball ball what you need to do you need to start with uneven numbers of bugles so I'm going to pick up one seed one bugle one seed one bugle one seed until I have got I need seven for this size for a larger size you know you might pick up 11 or 13 or 15 17 depending on the size of your bobo bobo one two three four five six seven there we go and the way kind of how i judge it how many i have to start with that if i put my bobo down onto the mat I kind of sort of, well, judge it by eye, but I'm going to try to sort of show you on the, on the size of it. So once we start the netting, this is going to become a smaller amount there. So it's going to pull together somewhat. So if, if my base at the top is right where the shank, I think it's called on the ball ball at the top, the hanging bit, and the bottom doesn't quite go right in the middle, then we have got the right size there. So from here, I need to finish with a seed bead. There we go. And I'm gonna turn backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. So I'm gonna turn my work, my, my tail end is here. I left my bobbin on there. So just in case if I need to pick up any more beads, I have them there. Is this in a kit form? Yes, absolutely. And you get PDF instructions with the kit as well. So it's, and the video as well. You can watch the video as well. So it's 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 all there for you. Jen saying, I have some of the kits from previous bubble projects, but I haven't made them yet. Jen, you need to sit down. <laughs> we need to schedule some time in your diary. Just like Sunday afternoon between like, I don't know. <laughs> 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. I'm doing bobos. That's all I'm doing. Every oh, The world has to stop. I'm doing bobos. <laughs> well, that's what I have to do. I kind of have to schedule it in. Right. Okay. So I'm right down at the bottom here. I picked up my seed bead, which is like very close here because I'm going to turn around um, to the seed bead. So, <clears throat> sorry, let me just take a sip of my drink. Because I feel like my voice is going so turning around how we turn around in the row is just we missed the very last seed bead we had there and then we're going to come back through the next bugle and seed bead so you kind of just like creating a little end there and we're gonna gather up these ends as we go along now when you're working a small bobble, you only want to skip sort of one section. When you're working with a larger bobble, and I'm going to show this, this 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 one to you, you're going to skip not just one, but you're going to skip a whole section because as the bobble gets smaller and closes in at the bottom, there wouldn't be any more space here to do more netting. So 
we are if you show you this one this one has got more netting at the bottom and it's kind of like puckering a little bit there can you see like it's not really sitting nice and straight on the bauble so for that reason we have to if you do a larger bauble we're gonna have to skip not just one but sort of three sections three bugles as you're going back and from here it's really easy what we're gonna be doing so we're gonna be picking up what we are missing on the on our base row so I'm going to pick up one bugle one seed one bugle I'm going to miss the bugle seed bugle here and go up the next seed and I'm, let me just wrap this around my arm here but my, my, my uh, um Roxy it's okay love probably heard somebody coming or going <laughs> rub it around my finger so i can suspend it in the air there and see one new round so bugle seed bugle and i'm gonna miss what i picked up so i'm missing bugle seed bugle going through this seed just here and then as i get to the top i'm gonna pick up bugle seed bugle and then I'm going to go through the seed bead right at the top so now I, it comes I came to the point that I'm going to have to turn around again so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to pick up one bugle and one seed I'm going to take this down and then I'm going to turn it around so I'm stitching away from myself. I'm going to come back the bugle seed and I'm going to come back the next bugle seed as well because my netting I want to alternate it in the next row. One, two, oh, I think I started with one less. Sorry, I'm really, really sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I ended up with eight. I only need seven. Reverse, reverse. <laughs> reverse quickly. Roxy, throw me off my track. I am telling you. You have to end up with one at the top. Right, let's ignore we got that dose there. Threading it back up happens to all of us. Sometimes when you start, <laughs> there we go, threading the needle back in. Right, so turning back around, going through the bugle. There we go. How did I end up with one extra seed uh, bugle bead there? Right, okay, so. I am need to go through that seed bead as well. And then bugle, seed, bugle. You will know, once you get down at the bottom of the row, you will know if something went wrong because instead of an uneven number, you're gonna have an even number. And then I'm going back and doing the same thing over and over again. So bugle, seed, bugle. And then missing in reverse what I picked up and just keep going down when I get down to the bottom I'm going to pick up bugle I think I picked up one bugle at the end not two seed bugle seed I'm going to take this down and it's time to turn around I'm just going to flip my work and come back the miss the seed bead and come back the bugle and the seed coffee slash water emoji i camille i actually like i'm limiting down to one coffee a day at the moment so i'm trying to drink more sort of water um at the moment it's after years and years and years of drinking coffee um like i don't know five ten cups a day um it, it is a very much of a shock to the system i'm just trying to sort of I think I got to the stage 
that in the morning, like, I couldn't wake up without, like, I, I wasn't, I didn't feel I was awake <laughs> before I had a cup of coffee. So I, I thought maybe I just need to kind of like detox myself from coffee um, a bit. Sounds like she's growing. That's the, I suppose that's, that's a journey. You're saying that about Roxy. Yes, she's absolutely gorgeous. She's fully grown now. She's 70 months. Um, still very playful, very very good girl I really do love her like I'm so lucky I feel that I'm so lucky she came into my life she's a very good girl love her to bits she started doing this like if she hears something like she never really used to bark and now if she hears something what she's unsure about like she, she does do like a little bark so I think they must have gone through like I don't know, until she was six months old, I didn't even hear her barking. She must go through different phases in their life and think how, how they sort of act. But then I guess we moved as well. And maybe when we moved, like it's an all different environment now for her, what she was used to being for the first year of her life with me. Bless her. So I'm just going backwards and forwards. I need to do a few rows so I can show you how to try it onto the bauble. And then I'm going to show you how to zip it up. So we're going to zip the end and the beginning up and completely add it onto the bauble. Is the bugle with the kit classed as a small or large bubble? The, the bauble in the kit is a small one and then you can progress on to sort of larger ones what you have at home and do they they kind of sort of little plastic ones but you can buy them separately as well which is you know you can put anything in it so if you have got maybe um some you can even put a picture or, or a memory or anything like that from from sort of a, any memorable item you kind of have got no um no sort of real value to them but they may be sentimental values you can kind of add put it inside the bauble and and preserve them that way and every christmas they would come out and go onto the tree i love it i had a i got a bauble which a lady made for me a very long time ago gosh maybe i don't know 15 16 years ago and um unfortunately she's no longer with us but every single christmas when the bauble comes out it's just it's just so nice because it always makes me remember her and and I think this is really just really sweet when you make something like this and you gift it to people they may not have it in the like you know you're not gonna have Christmas decoration out all all year round but um when when you do like people really remember you and I think that's such a such a lovely thing and I, this is one of the reasons I love handmade things so much and love creating because it becomes other part of people's life. I put fake snow in mine last year. Trish is saying, yeah, that's that's really good as well. All sorts of different things. Let me know. Like if you did this, did anything or this similar last year, let me know what have you put inside it. I put angel hair in some of mine, but mine, <laughs> my, my bubbles are still in storage and I do need to bring them home. But I'm planning to decorate the lounge before Christmas. I just, I don't, I don't know what weekend I'm going to be doing. One of the weekends, I'm just going to like, this is it. This is going to be the weekend and I'm, I'm, I'm going to get on with it and do it. So I don't want to bring stuff home um, too much time before that happens. And so I'm planning to do that and then just bring, bring sort of the tree and the decorations home and put it up straight away. And <laughs> then in, in January, I'm going to have to find space when I'm going to hide everything. But I think... Um, we will be we will be okay i'm just gonna have to we're just gonna have to find places in the kitchen i keep saying there's a cupboard i i packed it and unpacked it three times now every single time when i bring something back or like you know i rearrange things but i think it's gonna be an ongoing occurring thing in my household until you completely get settled and to be fair i do have to I do, do have to go through things and be very selective because I just I, I just love gadgets. I just love stuff and it's just I just got so much. So I, I said goodbye to a dinosaur waffle maker 
the other day, which we had, I don't know, 15 years. Um, but haven't really made any waffles in it for the last 10 years or so. Because I got another waffle maker, sort of like an adult waffle maker. So I said goodbye to that one. Oh, just a saying, second one I managed to be awake for. How? What, what time is there where you are, Joss? Let us know. For some, some of you in America, it must be really, really early. 